Students, parents, and teachers are gearing up for a new and very different school year. Thanks for joining us for NBC4 at 11. I'm Jennifer Bullock. The coronavirus pandemic is forcing communities and school districts to make adjustments to how students learn. And for some, the first day of school is just hours away. NBC4's Eric Halperin is in Grandview Heights tonight, where classes start tomorrow morning. But Eric, it's not going to be what we're used to seeing on a first day. Jennifer, on a normal first day of school, kids would be walking to school here, parents would be dropping kids off, and kids would be walking into the building. But tomorrow, none of that will be happening because, like some other districts, Grandview is starting the year all remotely. Crosby Phillips is sliding into fourth grade, running around with family and friends on the last day before the school year starts. I kind of want it to happen, but I would... Uh really like to be in a, a uh, school room. The Grandview Heights student is still excited for the first day, even though it's not exactly what he was hoping for. Though a little disappointed, he understands why he's starting the year with distance learning. I would have really liked to have it in person, but I mean, whatever happens, happens. A couple weeks ago, the Grandview Heights superintendent sent a message to the community explaining he's deeply saddened the year starting with distance learning, but the district's listening to health experts, and he's hopeful in-person learning will happen this year. And hopefully present a positive face to our kids, because I think our kids are going to take on whatever attitude we have. Students have been home since March, creating some challenges for all involved. Seventh grader Macy, too, and her dad are also looking forward to the first day, albeit remote. I'm so pretty excited because, I mean, I haven't really had much to do at home, so this gives me, like, something to do. I'm feeling good. Uh, I obviously wish all the kids could be in school uh, in front of their teachers and with their friends, but uh, hopefully sometime in the future we can do that again. And just like school, Crosby's dad Logan says it's all a learning experience. It's a year they'll never forget, that's for sure. And some other districts are also starting back up this week. For more information, head to our web website, NBC4i.com, and under the News tab, click Ready for School. Local for you in Grandview Heights, I'm Eric Halperin, NBC4. Eric, thank you.